on Monday night, as we wrapped up this show, there were some reports of communal violence in a remote district located in the state of Haryana. This is the region I am talking about, the new district of Haryana. It is one of the state's 22 districts located about 85 kilometers from the national capital. On Monday afternoon, this district witnessed clashes between two groups and the tension broke out during a religious procession which was organized by the Vishwa Hindu Parishad or the VHP. In fact, reports say a group of young men allegedly tried disrupting that procession. They reportedly pelted stones and tried to block the procession's route. And why did they do that? Apparently due to the alleged participation of an accused who is wanted in vigilantism case. And as soon as the procession was stopped, the other side also retaliated and the violence escalated. The clashes intensified. This is what the aftermath looked like. Shops, carts, vehicles, public buses, homes, scores of them were either burnt or destroyed. The violence is said to have lasted late into the night. It has reportedly led to the killing of at least five people. 45 others have been injured. And this, by the way, includes both civilians and policemen. By the wee hours of Tuesday, the violence had also spread to Gurugram, the financial hub of Haryana. Reports say there were incidents of rioting with cars and motorbikes being set on fire. A place of worship was also targeted by miscreants. At least 24 to 30 people came and attacked the shop. I could close the shutter with great difficulty. After rolling down the shutter, the rioters pelted stones. You can see for yourself. The authorities were quick to spring into action. Reports say they conducted raids throughout the night and rounded up several attackers involved in the violence. At least 20 companies of paramilitary forces have been deployed. Security around places of worship has also been tightened. Besides this, Haryana police and the administration are holding meetings with prominent representatives from both the sides in order to ensure peace. As a precautionary measure, Section 144 has been imposed in the district, also in Gurugram and nearby areas. Unlawful activities, road blockades and assembly of more than five people has been prohibited in order to maintain peace and tranquility. Section 144 has been imposed in new district and 20 companies of paramilitary forces have reached and a curfew is in place. Peace is maintained. We are conducting security flag marches in New City to Badkali Chowk. We have done two meetings with the Peace Committee and we will gradually increase them. Meanwhile, the Chief Minister of Haryana has issued a statement. This is what he said and I'm in a tweet and I'm quoting now. I appeal to all the people to maintain peace in the state. The guilty will not be spared at any cost. The strictest action will be taken against them. So far, 44 FIRs have been lodged and 70 people have been identified and arrested. After investigation, strict action will be taken against those found guilty and no miscreant will be spared. As for those who have suffered losses of life or property, as per latest information, five people are dead, in which there are two policemen and three civilians. They will all be compensated. Meanwhile, Anil Witt says he suspects a conspiracy behind the clashes. Let me quote from his statement. Both communities have been staying in New peacefully for a long time. There is a conspiracy behind this. The way stones, weapons, bullets were found, it seems there is a mastermind behind this. And we will conduct a detailed investigation and take strict action against the masterminds. So what happens next? Haryana is on a state of alert now. The police have launched an investigation. They are scanning footage from security cameras, pursuing all leads to track down the perpetrators. As for the unrest, it is more or less under control now.